I'm trying to not ring. I'm going to waltz you all Your promoter, your family, and everybody that came with you better be concerned about you. Don't be concerned about me. Don't be concerned. I ain't going to have no mercy. I was born to do this, unlike you, I promise you that. Unlike you. I promise you that. My word is my bond. Well, I hope you're a man of your word. always been my bond. I've been looking for somebody to knock me out for years, and nobody has ever done it. Everything I've said, I've done. Well, I want, you to, you done? I want you to knock me what out, then. you done? I beat the best ever in the last 50 years, my boy. He beat himself. I beat the best ever in the last 50 years, my boy. This is my longest reigning heavyweight champion in history. You only had one You didn't title beat nobody. Fight. You beat a little eight. bum, fat this bum. This is going to be my 8-1. Woo! I done fight eight all bum. types of guys all over the world. I done been in all many right. different countries to fight them. Y'all don't have the experience that I have in this. I know because he has the experience it. of getting knocked you out in the amateurs. I didn't get knocked out in the amateurs. You can see he's the best. You ain't the best. I knocked everybody out. Food to me, baby. He got beat. That's food why he got on the menu. Metal. And I'm gonna eat you with fun. I'm Folks, eat, oh, this is gonna be Not a I'm going to eat you, but my family going to eat Saturday you. Saturday night, we gonna December feast. 1st. I promise Get down you that. Staples I hope Saturday. you do. I hope yeah. you're money your word, Big Dossa. And three nights later, on Saturday, December the 1st, 2018, on Showtime Pay-Per-View, Tyson Fury in round 12 got baptized. He made it barely. Some referees would have been like, nah, you done. Fuck that. One of the best decisions Tyson Fury made was, as he said in the post fight, this was the last, I mean, let me, let me back up. This was the last pre-fight press conference, the final press conference before the fight. They feel for you. They should feel for you. For you. No training that he have in this we'll corner is here. gonna be able to, to help him. Fight. We're gonna it's face gonna off now, the talking's over. Be with us. You can't stop you, at baby. The Staples Center no matter on what Saturday training night. you get, they even feel long. for you. They should feel for you. Because, oh, shit. All right, everybody stay down. We're going to do, gonna do a commentary. Running. In hindsight, that's some dark shit right there. That's some pretty sinister shit, especially since we know how Tyson Fury ended up. Well, here, let me help you out. We'll be right back. I'm Tistry Controversy with FightView360.com. The A corner has four trainers. And, and that's nervous, nervous behavior. behavior. But, but no, no training that, that he have in this corner is going to be able to help him. Fight. Fight. We're going to face off now. Stop. Talking's Talk over. Be with us. Can't stop, stop you, baby. At the Staples Center. What training you get? They even feel for you. They should feel for you. Because, oh, shit. Everybody stay down. We're going to do a commentary. 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 Get out of the center aisle, please. Everybody stay down. Shit definitely got real. Shit definitely got real. So let's talk about the details. On Monday, January the 13th, 2020 is the first press conference. We're going to be live streaming it. What time is that press conference? I believe it's going to be starting at, hear me pull it up for y'all. It's going to be starting at, what time is it going to be starting at? 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific. What's that? That is about 10 p.m. over there in the UK. All right, I'm not your fucking clock or your TV guy. All right, look that shit up. So that's 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be here streaming. 10 p.m. over the UK. And fucking like in the middle of the night or some shit. No, in like the daytime over in like 5 a.m. over in the Philippines and Malaysia. Uh-huh. All right. So we're going to be live streaming. Of course, it's going to be lit. Um, looks like they're only doing the one before the fight and then they're going to do a fight week one. Well, you know, so this is not a, a, a press tour. After all, the fight is what, about 43 days or so away. So they need to be in camp. Camp is usually about eight weeks or so. All right. So let's talk about what we know so far. Here in the States, it's going to be $74.99 on ESPN Plus and PBC on Fox Pay-Per-View. So for what I gathered is that you're able to buy it on both platforms, as it says right here, on the Fox Sports uh, Boxing Pay-Per-View. So basically, this is the page where you would go if you would buy or if you have purchased any PBC uh, Fox Pay-Per-Views online. This is the link to it. In fact, I'm going to put it down below. Um, in the description box. So about a week or so before the fight, this turns into like a countdown where you can say where it says like buy and you can pre-order it. 
So here's the frequently asked questions. How much the fight costs on pay-per-view here in the States? Wait a minute. They raised the price. $5. We were just here doing a live stream. We have the video where I'm pretty sure it was listed. Hold on. Let's do a little jump cut. One minute. Oh, guess what, y'all? They snuck raised the price. Look now. We did a live stream here. Look at look at the look at look look seventy four ninety nine, but now it's seventy. Now I'm not being a cheap ass degenerate son of a bitch. Obviously, I'm gonna pay for it, but it's like why they sneak up the price. Let me see if I can show you in this video where I pull up the price. Look, it says seventy four ninety nine, and this was a live stream. Look at Fury face. He's disgusted. He's like, oh shit, they caught us, y'all. See, you know what I think? See, they talking that this fight is going to do 2 million pay-per-view buys. They're saying that 2 million people are going to buy this fight. That's what they're predicting. That's what Bob Barum and the people have been saying. The people up, up on that side. So far, I've only heard Bob Barum and Joe Tessitore of ESPN talk about how this fight is going to be bigger. The biggest boxing event to be ever purchased i don't know what they're talking about but now it is 79.99 plus tax you can watch it on fox books go app it's going to be the mgm grand garden arena so far the only names that are circulating around to be on the undercard is the return of gerald big baby miller who was supposed to fight uh anthony joshua but failed the drug test for some gw 15 16 needle shit or some shit we're gonna leave that alone you know i was at this motherfucking fight motherfucking gerald big baby miller i think he was trying to punk me so what fight was it it was it was burton bf versus volstick oh i can't wait to tell this story in my video i'm gonna make y'all wait so anyway I'm, I'm trying to interview somebody and i look i see this big motherfucking corn fat motherfucker like like grizzly in me but he's sitting in his chair with his sunglasses on and you know that fucking leather like jacket with the fur he be wearing and he just like chewing his gum and i'm looking and i'm like he looked like he want to do something to me he probably seen the video when i was like you sick in me and you just i was talking all this shit i was letting him have it but anyway moving on um, yeah, I'm wondering how it's going to work. Like, are they going to split the commentary team? Like, are they, are they going to split the commentary team and have them like on one broadcast like they did with HBO and Showtime Mayweather versus Pacquiao, or they're going to have us, or will you have the option to buy the ESPN broadcast or the Fox sports broadcast in regards to production? Doesn't that cost more? Also, like, you know, we still got some 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 questions because it does say here once again, rematch live on Fox Sports and ESPN Plus pay-per-view. ESPN Plus is where you buy the UFC pay-per-views. Where you bought uh, Crawford versus Khan. If you're one of those people, I've done it. It's my job to do it for you, the people. You know? So... Um, oh, yeah, the names I'm here supposed to be on the undercard is Big Baby Miller and uh, Sergey Limping Yetz or some shit. Tickets come across as a little bit expensive. Also, it seems as though according to these sites, of course, you know, there's secondary markets and all this. All I'm going by is this. Listen, this is us buying a virtual ticket. People be like, oh, you should, you know, like, you know, the secondary market, those tickets are not sold out. Listen, I can't buy these tickets. So where they at? You know, just like when people were saying like Eddie Hearn, he's always that's a sixty eight hundred dollar ticket around here somewhere. What in the world? You know, how people say, well, Eddie Hearn does this with his tickets. Listen, when it comes to fight night, those seats be sold out. Where, you know. So, look, the blue is seats that are left. You see, you know what? Let's find the worst seat in the house. Let's go find the worst seat in the house. And what's that seat? I want that seat. How much is this? What's a no? Let's get in the nasty middle. Like, no, let's get like right here. That's a thousand dollars. What y'all want? Oh, now. Oh, what? I don't know. 
Maybe they looking for you UK guys to come over here and get that shit. Let's see. What's this one? Give me this one. T what? Is, is this is this inside the door? Oh, no. It's something up here. Right, let's go look at these. Let's see. Give me. So this is up in like the, the, the back. Give me this nasty seat in 250. Give me this seat. I want this seat. How much? So, what? And how much is the fees? Huh? And don't they chuck? I don't know. I don't trust it. I don't want that ticket no more. I want another one. Let's go to the other side. Let's go to the other side. Let's go to the other side. I don't know, guys. I'm not really feeling these ticket prices. But then again, I'm not the one buying them. You are. Damn, these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers is huh? Let's go to front. Let's go to front row. Now, these tickets usually be a whole bunch of comps of people calling up like executives and shit. You know, you'd be surprised like how little of these tickle tickets I hear sell. They just be like for the boxers and all the celebrities and managers and promoters and shit. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. <coughs> well, I don't know. So far, it's looking okay. You know, you got these sections that are not closed off, right? Are they closed off? Were these tickets available? Can I boost this rate? Can I buy that? Yeah, it's not closed off. They're not closed off. So we're going to be here so far. That's all the questions that uh, need to be answered. I don't like how they're doing Dylan White. I don't like how they're able to have two fights in 2020 without not having a mandatory. That shit don't make no fucking sense to me. You know, um, ESPN has been doing their best with Tyson Fury, like throwing like a whole bunch of promotion at him. But, you know, they're not much bigger in name than they were when they first fought. I mean, Tyson Fury is a little bit. He is. And Deontay Wilder is definitely, especially after the first fight between these two. Both of them are more known, but it's not that much of what we can say 2 million pay-per-view buys. By the way, also, um, Billy Wagner um, did a pod, was on a PBC podcast, which y'all should check out. You get some nice information on them joints on the PBC website. Where he was talking about, um, he's the uh, executive vice president of sports programming. Basically, he's involved for all the programming, the or they call shoulder content in regards to the build up stuff. Like for example, Showtime All Access, um, um, Sky Sports, the gloves are off, um, BT Sport, that thing they do. I forgot what it's called. You know, no filter. That's called shoulder content. So for Fox, PBC, they have PBC Fight Camp, PBC Face to Face, Inside PBC Boxing. Um, um, what else? Um, certain type of PBC shows like Portrait of a Fighter, things like that. So we, so he's saying that they're getting ready to start rolling out that stuff. But I want that since they're both trying to make money, I want... I want both sides to have full access to the fighters. I don't want them to be a network divide like it was with HBO and Showtime and shit like that, where they were using archived Floyd Mayweather stuff. They were doing good. You know, you only the hardcores, you know, know what I'm talking about. They were using like hard, like archive shit for Mayweather um, uh, Pacquiao at last is what it was called. And, you know, both sides had to get creative. But in this in this case, I want to see a PBC face to face with Brian Campbell, with Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder both sitting at the table. I want to see it. And it needs to air on free TV, just like Deontay Wilder needs to be on ESPN shit. He needs to be on for he needs to be on all that shit. Both of these sides are working together to split the pot, release the fighters. Don't be petty. You know, because right now we're how many days are we until the fight? OK, Google. How many days until February 22nd? You see, I could have just typed that in. 42 days. 42 days. I'm T Street Controversy with FightView360.com. Once again, we'll be here Monday for the final press conference. I'm with the first press conference for Wild Fury 2. I'm going to put the ticket information and everything down below in the description box as well. Tonight, he's going to know what it looks like. Because when you see a bad man, you know what one looks like. And I look at him and I don't see a bad man, I see a pretender. And I've seen many of them in my life giving it the big until they get slapped in the mouth. Good up.